Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jim Hummel. And I'm Marcel Fontenot. Vermilion Parish teacher Daisha Hargrave says she's finding strength in the support she's receiving from across the country. Hargrave posted a video on social media today. They are her first public comments since that controversial arrest at Monday night's school board meeting. By silencing my voice, they've also taken away or tried to take away my First Amendment rights to speak. And I'm appalled at this and you should be too. And many in Vermilion Parish are getting death threats over Hargrave's arrest, including Superintendent Jerome Pio. Today, our Justice Henderson sat down with Pio and reports on what he says he would have done differently. And we'll leave our, our community out in our schools. And stay away. Stay away. Superintendent Jerome Pio is pleading for death threats against himself, his family, and others in the school system to stop. <laughs> They stem from the controversial arrest of teacher Daisha Hargrave, and despite the threats and overwhelming outrage, P.O. stands by the officer. Uh, our people are, know what to do, and when it happened, that person, uh, our, uh, that marshal, acted in what we asked him to do. I asked if there was anything he would have done different on Monday. He said it would have all come down to protocol. And really follow what our policy says. Go to the podium, state your name, you have three minutes. That way there's no ambiguity if somebody received the authority to speak or not. And when he was asked about the allegations against women being mistreated. 90% of our administrators are women. Um, the majority of our teachers are women. And uh, we, we don't treat anybody differently. I value uh, the, the, a, a woman and their, their uh, authority. Their authority, they are equals. P.O. says the parish needs to focus on healing and moving forward together. Tomorrow there will be a rally to stand in solidarity with Daisha at Magdalen Square in Abbeville at 345. The community is invited to come out and P.O. says he stands behind his educators supporting their fellow educator. In Abbeville, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3.